Hey guys, this is Colleen, and as promised, I am going to show you my seed collection for 2022. And you will see that I am growing my garden much bigger than I did last year. So last year, um, my husband had purchased four tomato plants from a coworker, and we decided I was going to grow a garden. And we found um, we were at a, another a grocery store, and we found some cabbage, some broccoli, some peppers, and um, some uh, cabbages. And so we decided we were going to grow them. I did not know what I was doing. I made an area for a garden. And uh, so I grew approximately 22 um, plants. And uh, like I said, I did do pretty good in that garden though it was very small and I really didn't know what I was doing. I probably shouldn't have planted some of the things where I planted it, um, but that's where you learn and you grow. And so this year I am going to be doing quite a bit. So I will start off with the vegetables that um, I have my vegetables sorted to what ones need to be started indoors and which ones need to be planted out uh, by seeds outdoor. So I will start off with the ones I'm going to be growing from seeds starts indoors, which also will be a learning process because this is a fair amount of variety of things to start and um, I'm going to have to learn. So of course that means a grow light, that means the right medium to grow my seeds in and everything. And I actually... I'm going to be honest here. I decided wanted to do when I first started this, I wanted to do an indoor herb garden. I thought during the winter months, I can grow an herb garden. No problem. So I tried a few start seed starts um, just to grow some herbs indoors. And this is why you need to know your stuff before you start growing because it did not, it was not successful. But that's okay. I learned and I will learn from there. So here we'll start with, we're gonna get some basil, and this is a Italian large leaf basil. And then I also uh, picked up um, some sweet basil. And I am going to actually companion plant these with my tomatoes. Um, I've got some broccoli, some cauliflower, and I've got some cucumber, some kale. Um, I love kale in my salad, but because I hear it's quite prolific and that it does quite well, I'm hoping to grow it and that I have abundance of it enough to be able to be creative with it as well. Um, of I, since I said I love salads, I got some leaf lettuce. This one's actually looks like romaine. I'm not certain if it is because it just says Paris Island, and I'm going to have to look into that, maybe search the brand this product more, but um, I just grabbed a bunch of different lettuce. This one is a leaf lettuce and it's called Black Seeded Simpson, but it looks like the leafy greens I usually eat and I feel like that will be something I will enjoy having in my salads. So I grabbed two of those because I want to grow a lot of lettuce. Um, also, thick iceberg lettuce, which I love to have on my tacos, and I would love, I'm sure I can use the other ones for tacos as well, but would love nothing more than having iceberg lettuce right from my garden. Um, some more herbs, uh, oregano, uh, who doesn't love oregano? And uh, here are some pepper seeds. I do have, these ones are um, resilient giant peppers. I have um, some other peppers that I saved from last year's um, fruits because I did not yield a large amount of fruit from my peppers because they had to be transplanted. I decided to save the seeds. So hopefully this year I will yield more. Um, then of course the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin because who doesn't love a jack-o'-lantern and I'm actually hoping to get a few of these jack-o'-lanterns. Um, my plan for these vegetables will not be to grow a whole lot of these plants but I'm going to grab a few plant a few start a few of them see how they grow and I'm going to experiment what is the best lighting for them and see which is the most prolific so I can learn in my garden 
um, I'm going to grow some sage. And, oh, some Swiss chard. Looking forward to that as well. Like I said, I want to grow things I love to eat the most. And then there is some more tomatoes. These ones are just beefsteak tomatoes. And of course, like I said, I saved some from seeds. I saved also some of my tomato seeds. So I have some heirloom tomatoes that a co-worker actually, um, he actually does it for, um, uh, I work at the hospital and um, he actually grows the plants and uh, sells them there. And he does quite a variety of them. And uh, so I've saved some of those seeds to try and see how I can do in my garden with them as well. It was an experiment and I want to see how it works. So uh, we, you'll be able to follow along with that. And then maybe I can show you guys how to um, harvest some of the seeds from your own tomatoes or um, from any other vegetable that you possibly can get it from. Um, I'm also going to do watermelon. I'm actually very curious about watermelon, how well it will grow um, in our area. I know watermelons need lots of water. So um, we'll see how that grows. And then another fun one, something else more really prolific, zucchini. Uh, my sister grew zucchini in her gardens and um, was very successful. And I enjoyed being able to have the zucchini with her. And I'm hoping that it does as well for me. So those are the ones that I am going to do my seed starts indoors. Next on to um, the seeds that I'll be starting outdoors. So we have uh, first beets and of course, oh, I just love beets. I love them pickled, but I also love them fresh. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, some beans, I have yellow beans and green beans. So I'm really hoping to enjoy that. Um, I'm gonna actually um, plant this along with, I'm hoping some corn. We will see, I don't have any corn seeds with me right now but my plan is to get some corn. So um, I'm going to do some carrots. Now this carrot is uh, one of the ones that I'm gonna do in my planter garden, the container garden. Um, because I wanna try doing some container gardening this year, this is gonna be one of the varieties I'll use. As you see, you can tell that they grow a little stubbier and that was the plan is to have some shorter um, varieties to grow in a container and then I've just got the classic carrots that are nice long carrots and I'm really hoping to get some delicious fresh carrots from the garden um, some chives who doesn't love chives and of course this is a perennial so I'm gonna make sure wherever I plant this it's something that can keep growing every year so I got to really plan smart with this chive um, the dill um, I'm hoping to grow this I love dill so now I can dill use my own dill to make my own um, pickled um, items. So I'm looking forward to that. Some parsley. Yes, I'm looking forward to parsley as well. Um, and I have the curly leaf parsley, but I also bought some flat leaf parsley because we all like variety. Um, I'm also going to grow some peas. And I hope that that turns out well. These ones are a little marble, and I'm looking forward to that. And some radishes, another item to put in the container garden. Um, I'm planting the container gardens. I'm gonna grow some things in the container and some things in the ground. And I'm just kind of see what grows best, how it grows best. So I'm just going to experiment. This is my first year going this big. So I thought, why not do a variety? Why not just um, experiment and have fun with it? And um, last but not least of the seeds I'm growing in the ground is spinach and I do love spinach I eat spinach in a lot of things and um, what better ways and it freezes so well I have um, so I'm really hoping to enjoy that so on top of those this year I tried something different most times my outdoor gardening um, before last year's garden was just I had perennials they're low maintenance. I'm a full-time nurse. I had children at home. Um, both my children are adults now, so I can actually spend more time out in the garden. Um, so this year I decided to 
try and plant a few um, flowers because I'd like to encourage some good bugs to my garden and uh, so I'm hoping I don't I'm not really knowledgeable about flowers but I found a few that I just I've heard about and that I like so um, I've got these um, they're called candy tough umbrella mixed um, colors so I'm gonna try that one if you know anything about it leave a comment let me know we will do some marigolds this one's a variety and it's the Cracker Jack mixed colors so I'm good with that Actually, most of the stuff I grabbed, all of them are mixed varieties because I am i don't mind what colors they're going to be. And then I also, uh, I watch a, another YouTuber and she grows zinnias in her garden. And so I decided I'm going to grow some zinnias as well and see how that goes. I'm look, so looking forward to it. Actually, I think these two for sure, I know they actually, I can harvest the seeds from them for the next year so I'll try doing that and um, then there is sunflowers this one's a mixed variety called autumn beauty and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they grow and I do have a niece that's getting married this summer and she wants to have some sunflowers in her wedding so I'm really hoping that this becomes um, something that um, grows well so that maybe I can use some fresh gardens, fresh flowers from my garden for her wedding. If not, that's okay. I just wanna see how it goes. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, companion planting. And that was what I was referring to earlier. Um, I'm going to do some companion planting. The basil will be in with the tomatoes. I'm going to try to grow some beans in with some corn so the beans can grow up to corn stalks. And I'm just really going to try to utilize the amount of garden that I have. I'm so looking forward to this. If you want to see more of this journey, uh, my seed start dates, um, when I'm going to plant them in the garden, all of these things. And uh, I will go through it in another video. Um, but I'm just looking forward to this. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to follow along, go ahead and subscribe. I'm not asking you to, but if you want to go ahead and subscribe and, um, I uh, hope to get some more videos out for you. So, um, hope you have a great day and take care until next time. Bye.